I'm Mara McKay, your Public Affairs and Communications Manager for the Linwood Police Department. It's Friday, October 27th, and this is your LPD Video Week in Review. Here's a summary of some of the most notable incidents your Linwood Police Department officers responded to over the past few weeks or so, as well as some LPD news. On Friday, October 13th, officers responded to a collision on Highway 99 and 164th with multiple callers calling about a hit and run. When officers arrived on scene, they learned a beige truck was driving eastbound on the wrong side of the street and struck four vehicles, then crashed into a ditch. The subject left the vehicle with a bottle of alcohol in one hand and a handgun in another. The subject attempted to throw the handgun in the back of the truck before they ran. Officers arrested the subject and charged them with one count of unlawful possession of a firearm and one count of DUI. The same day, officers responded as mutual aid to a house fire on the 3600 block of 191st place. The home was unoccupied at the time and nobody was injured in the fire. Upon further investigation, detectives were called to the scene and determined the cause of the fire was arson. This investigation is ongoing. If you have any information regarding this incident, please contact Detective Hammersmith at the number below. On Tuesday, October 17th, officers were dispatched to a business on Alderwood Mall Parkway for a priority theft call. When they arrived, they contacted loss prevention, who stated a subject was inside selecting merchandise and attempting to leave. With officers on scene, the subject attempted exiting the store through the emergency exit where an officer was waiting. Seeing an officer there, the subject ran back into the store and attempted exiting from another point. Officers approached the subject and took them into custody. When searched, officers located drug paraphernalia, merchandise, and stolen credit cards on the subject. It was determined by loss prevention the subject stole over $1,000 worth of merchandise. The subject was charged with one count theft two and one count of controlled substance. On Friday, October 20th, officers were dispatched to a two-vehicle blocking hit-and-run collision on 188th Street. When they arrived, a gray vehicle was blocking the eastbound right turn lane with all airbags deployed. The driver of the vehicle stated they were driving northbound when they merged into the left lane and turned left, not seeing another vehicle. Both cars collided and the second vehicle took off. Officers later found the second vehicle several streets away. The driver stated they panicked when the collision happened and took off. The driver stated they did not have insurance and the vehicle was not yet registered in Washington State. After running the driver's name through a database, officers learned the driver was also driving with a suspended license. The driver was arrested and charged with one count hit and run, one count failure to register vehicle, one count driving with a suspended license, and one count of driving without insurance. Later that day, officers responded to a reported robbery with a weapon in the Alderwood Mall parking lot. When officers arrived, they learned from the subject that they were parked in a parking garage when two subjects approached their vehicle from behind, carrying what appeared to be a handgun, which they pointed at the subject. They demanded the driver's necklace, cash, and vehicle. The two subjects got into the vehicle and drove off. Kent PD later found the stolen vehicle and advised our officers who took that vehicle into custody. This case is still open. On Saturday, October 21st, officers were dispatched to a malicious mischief call on Highway 99. The reporting party told officers they witnessed a subject throw a rock through a window at a business across the street. When officers responded, they also checked nearby businesses and found that up to five other businesses in the area had their windows damaged, costing upwards of $2,000 in repairs. The reporting party gave a description to the responding officers, and officers located the subject matching that description shortly after. The subject was arrested on five counts of malicious mischief, too. On Wednesday, October 25th, officers responded to an assist call on 196th Street Southwest. When police arrived, they learned from a garbage collection employee that during their normal pickup route, an individual may have been inside a dumpster when it was collected and dumped into their collection truck. The patient was removed from the garbage collection truck and transported to a hospital where they later died from their injuries. Detectives are currently investigating, but at this time, this appears to just be a tragic accident. And now on to some LPD news. As a reminder, we released a brand new Linwood Police Department app that's downloadable now for both Apple and Android. This app was specifically built for Linwood citizens in mind. Sign up for vacation house checks, browse job openings, meet your officers, or submit a tip. Download that app now. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we are collecting unused, unopened toiletry items 
this month. The donation bin is located at the front of our building. Our custody team is looking to hire, so come join the team as we prepare to open a brand new facility designed to be the model in criminal justice rehabilitation. We're looking for service-minded people who work well in a team environment and want to make things a little bit better. To qualify for hire, you must be a U.S. citizen, have a high school diploma, and be at least 20 and a half years old. We offer competitive salaries and signing bonuses for both new and lateral officers. To apply, please visit the website on your screen for more information. We're looking for volunteers, and there's a variety of different opportunities like citizens patrol, car seat safety technicians, or volunteers in public safety. There's plenty of ways to join our award-winning team and help your community. Visit the website on your screen for more information. Are you looking for a way to make a difference in your community while being a part of a profession with integrity and purpose? Well, we're hiring for entry-level and lateral police officers. Generous bonuses for entry and lateral officers are being offered, as well as a great benefits package. Please visit the website on your screen for more information. Professionalism, vigilance, and community are at the backbone of what we do. We're here when you need us, respond when you call us, make your safety our top priority, and work tirelessly to earn your trust. That's all for this week. See you next time.